is around the world. We are Stein FM, and this is the Home Run Show, where music matters. Hello. Hit me. This is a test. It's serious. It's a dream. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Ladies and gentlemen. Let the rhythm take you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rhythm. The music. The music. Music. Oh, I love the stuff. Now, here comes the music. Are you ready? Okay, boys. Here we go. you home Monday through Friday. The Home Run on Sign FM 102.6.
afternoon to you, don't care, to the rest of the UK and wherever you are on the whole wide world. Welcome to the big show, live till six. It's Friday. So, counting down to your weekends. Bank holiday weekend for tonight and tomorrow. And becoming more generally cloudy tonight. Showers developing overnight as well. Some very heavy rain throughout the night. Some thundery showers as well. Minimum temperature down to 15 degrees centigrade this evening. And uh, of tomorrow, not looking too much better for tomorrow either. Uh, Saturday, mostly cloudy throughout the day with further rain at times. Some of the rain again expected to be very heavy and thundery with localised flooding possible in places as well. And uh, the maximum temperature tomorrow, 21 degrees. Headlines making the news stories today. Then the Foreign Secretary William Hague has said for the first time that the atrocity in Syria was a chemical attack carried out by Assad forces. At least 20 people are believed to have been killed and hundreds injured as two powerful explosions in the northern Lebanese city of Tripoli. And Microsoft Chief Executive Stephen Ballmer will retire with the next, within the next year as the company struggles to reposition itself in the ultra-competitive tech uh, sector. Uh, the outgoing head of uh, FBI fears another 9-11-style attack on the US, saying the fallout from the Arab Spring has bred a number of violent extremists. And the broadcaster Dave Lee Travis has appeared in a court over 12 alleged sexual offences. All those new stories coming up in 18 minutes. Chaka, 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 gone. Chaka, gone. Chaka, gone. Chaka, gone. Chaka, gone. Let me rock it. Let me rock it. Chaka, gone. Let me rock it. That's all I want to do. Chaka, gone. Let me rock it. Let me rock it. Chaka, gone. 
Let me rock it with a feel for you. Chaka Khan, what you tell me what you wanna do? Do you feel for me the way I feel for you? Chaka Khan, let me tell you what I wanna do. I wanna love you, wanna hug you, wanna squeeze you too. So let me take it in my arm, let me feel you with my charm, Chaka. Cause you know that I'm the one to keep you warm, Chaka. I make it more than just a physical dream. I wanna rock you, Chaka, baby, cause you make me wanna scream. Let me rock it, rock it, rock it. to four right now. And Cardiff has the Pilates Big City Drivers and Newcastle upon time, the rudest according to a new survey today. Uh, the Welsh Capital just pipped uh, Birmingham in the driver behaviour findings uh, involving more than 24,000 motorists in 15 UK big cities. Uh, Sheffield, Coventry and Glasgow had the most next most polite drivers based on researchers observations at junctions roundabouts and pedestrian crossings uh, Cardiff also scored 97% for the politeness the city's motorists had a greater tendency to thank other road users uh, stop for pedestrians at crossings and give way to other drivers at junctions on average 94% of drivers that were observed in Cardiff stopped and waited for the person to cross at a pedestrian crossing compared with 68% on average across the 15 cities uh, also 89% of motorists in Cardiff will indicate at a roundabout when turning right compared with a national average of 76%. In contrast, Newcastle drivers scored only 62%, placing the city firmly at the foot of the politeness table. Uh, The observers found that female drivers were 5% more likely to indicate at a roundabout when turning right, 6% more likely to give way at a junction, and 14% more likely to wait for a pedestrian to fully cross the road before driving on. Uh, Drivers of a small to medium-sized cars were most likely to stop and wait at a pedestrian crossing, especially compared 
compared to van drivers. At the same time, those in the most prestigious cars drove on regardless of pedestrians winning at the crossing with 23% of the time on average. Only a minority of 4% of drivers displayed signs of antisocial behaviour during the observations and a total of 9% of drivers in Bristol, 6% in Newcastle upon Tyne were playing loud music with an excessive volume, while just 7% of drivers in Edinburgh and 5% of drivers in London were observed tailgating. So we all know where to drive now, don't we? Let's go to Cardiff. And Chris Rea and the road to hell here at Sign 102.6. MK taking you home between now and then. Don't forget the official start to your weekend. It's Hobbers 5 when you hear the Clankson, of course. Getting your bank holiday weekend ready with the Friday montage. Good one today as well. Uh, you want to get in touch? 82070. Start your message with the word sign. S I N E is the text line number. Uh, or you can use the I widget as well, as uh, Debbie has done and said, Great tracks for my weekend, getting it started. Good to hear it, Debbie.
travel. Okay, let's take a quick look at something on the road speed right now. Pretty quiet out there for this uh, this time of evening. Uh, very slow traffic though on the M1 southbound between Junction 33 and Junction 30 there. Travel time is around 30 to 35 minutes and southbound on the M1 between Junction 33 and Junction 30. Apart from that, that is it. There's nothing on the planes, nothing on the trains. All good up to now, but we will keep you up to speed between now and 6 p.m. this evening, if anything does occur. Uh, You can let us know as well, provided it's legal and safe to do so. The number you require is Doncaster 32, 7769. Back. 
truly an exceptional group indeed. If you ever get a chance to go and see them live, please do so. Earth, Wind & Fire, they are brilliant. A brand new single from them. It's called My Promise here at Time. Uh, coming up to 4.29 right now. We're going to go to the newsroom for the latest national and international news with Anna Collinson. We're back in two minutes. Don't go away. On 102.6 FM and online at signfm.com, it's time for the national and international news. The Foreign Secretary, William Hague, says the government believes a chemical attack in Syria has been carried out by forces loyal to President Assad. The global response to the allegations has been gathering pace, with President Obama calling it a big event of grave concern. Meanwhile, the number of child refugees fleeing the violence in Syria has now topped the one million mark. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees is Antonio Guterres. If one adds about two million children internally displaced inside Syria... We uh, can really talk of the enormous risk of Syria facing the problem of a lost generation. With the football season now underway, fans are being warned they could face prosecution if they abuse players or fellow supporters online. New guidelines for England and Wales from the Crown Prosecution Service will also aim to deal with homophobic chanting. Lou Englefield is the campaign director of Football versus Homophobia. It's going to be a challenge, especially um, in relation to social media. It's also something that we would welcome alongside a range of kind of education initiatives, which we we hope will change the culture in football and make it more inclusive. More cash is being offered to coastal towns as part of a government bid to boost deprived areas. The Coastal Communities Fund is being raised by 5% to £29 million next year and will now last another 12 months to 2016. In football, there's a new face in the Scotland squad for the upcoming World Cup qualifiers with Belgium and Macedonia. Watford winger Ikechi Anya has been called up. He's Glasgow-born to a Nigerian father and a Romanian mother. And after months of speculation, Ben Affleck Fleck has confirmed as the latest Hollywood A-lister to play Batman. The 41-year-old will star in the upcoming Superman sequel due to be released in 2015. It'll be the first the two superheroes appear together. That's the latest. I'm Anna Collinson. Thank you, Anna. Here we go! It's not that your radio sounds strange. You just found the station that plays what you like. And thanks for listening. Doncaster's number one music station, Sign FM 102.6. For you to tell me what you want, tell me, tell me that you need me. I've been waiting all night for you to, oh, oh, tell me what you want, yeah. I've been waiting all night for you to tell me what you want, tell me, tell me that you need me. I've been waiting all night for you to, oh, oh, tell me what you want, yeah. I've been waiting all night for you to tell me 
a great song. They're rudimental. Saw them in the V Festival. They're amazing live. And winning all night here at Sign 102.6. Uh, counting down to your weekend, the official start at Harbour's 5, of course, just after the main news when you hear the clanks and we're getting your bank holiday weekend uh, started. Uh, the last bank holiday of the year, so you've got to make the most of it, OK? Uh, if you want to get in touch, 82070, start your message with the word sign, S-I-N-E, and on the I with it as well uh, for your shout-outs for the weekends, OK? Get them in now. Uh, right, uh, Sign FM News team has been out and about again today, and uh, in the news is uh, Bernardo's Young Carers. And we're on about uh, the ID cards that are going to be coming out for uh, Young Carers. Uh, Arnold talked to uh, Jane Whaley, and uh, this is what she had to say. Sign FM, putting the community back into radio. Jane, it's uh, Arnold from Sign FM News. Yeah. Doncaster. We're very much um, interested with an article which was about um, special ID cards for children who care for sick relatives. Could yeah. you let us know if this is already operational and how is it going to be carried out? Well, the card isn't operational as yet. We plan to promote the card to potential young carers in October half-term week. This card will end up having lots of partners and extending the support further than the young carers service and school. So we've asked for certain things. The hospitals look at parenting capacity and not just in the daytime to cover each 24-hour period to make sure that children aren't left in vulnerable position. The use of the card, it will enable young carers to access the vital support they need from schools and support agencies across the borough. And that will include partners like the Hospital Trust, Mental Health Trust, South Yorkshire Fire Service, South Yorkshire Police and Children and Adult Services within the Council. So it's about these major support services coming together and deciding on the type of support they can offer young carers and their families to really support them in their caring roles. What makes a young person or an individual being classified as a young carer? A young carer is someone who helps support a family member, usually a family member, or it, it could be a very close friend of the family, but they usually live in the same household. So they have to um, live in the same house? It's not essential, but that is just the usual thing. So it's about a young person who has regular responsibilities to support another individual. It's usually a parent, a grandparent, a sibling, or someone very close to the family. And the type of support they offer can vary. It could be emotional support, it could be helping to keep someone safe, helping with household tasks. Lots of young carers help support younger siblings, supporting with medication, uh, you know, just from general everyday household tasks. They don't have to be the primary carer. If there's two adults in the home and, you know, one is the person being cared for and the other adult goes out to work, that could mean for a, a substantial amount of hours that caring role then lands on the children. So we would recognise that those children, even though there's another adult in that household, still are impacted by the caring needs of another person in the household. So our primary aim was to help improve school attendance and maintaining school and encouraging young carers to really plan ahead and plan ahead for themselves and to achieve the best that they can. Thank you very much for speaking to Sign FM today, Jane Wiley, okay. and wish the project a success. Thank That's you very great. much. Thanks very much. And Bye. have a nice day. This is an advert for Nuffield Fitness and Wellbeing Centre. Well, not really an advert, more of a short message announcing how you can benefit from a range of health activities designed for your personal needs by simply visiting nuffieldhealth.com. You can even drop into your nearest Nuffield Centre in Doncaster and sign up for a free two-day pass so you can discover for yourself how our friendly experts can lend their support in making that positive step towards a healthier future. With a great collection of fitness equipment, plus swimming pool and sauna, alongside a busy schedule of fitness classes and advice programmes, Nuffield Wellbeing Centre Centers offer far more than your average gym. Like I said, just a straightforward message. Judge for yourself how effective plain speaking can be. Call 01302 365 588 or visit nuffieldhealth.com for further details. 
wanted to learn about the radio industry, or maybe you want to get involved with your local station, Sign FM's radio production courses are the perfect starting point. Our intro module in community media offers the ideal opportunity to gather the basics about radio broadcasting. And we also offer full nationally recognised accredited courses that support learners at all levels and all ages. Subject to status, you could even access our sessions free of charge. So, the only question that's really left to ask is, what are you waiting for? Visit higherrhythm.co.uk or call Doncaster 327769 to find out more. Doncaster's new performance venue launches on Friday the 6th of September with a range of exciting events to celebrate this unique launch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CAST. Make sure you're part of this thrilling occasion as a cast of thousands opening ceremony greets the Doncaster public with a series of special art happenings, choirs and performances from 6pm. This opening weekend is a unique celebration of the arts in your town with open house events from 12 noon on Saturday the 7th and Sunday the 8th of September. Cast, Doncaster's new performance venue. Experience the beginning at the official launch, Friday the 6th of September. Tickets for the opening season now on sale. For further details, call Doncaster 303 959 or visit online at castindoncaster.com. You're listening to The Home Run on 102.6 FM and online at signfm.com. Now, are you ready?
13 minutes to the top of the hour here at Sign 102.6. Swing and Sister there. And, of course, Breakout. Classic tune there. Classic tune. Uh, we're counting down to your weekend, of course. Uh, we'll start playing all the big tunes, uh, getting you ready for the weekend. Just after five today. Some of the biggest tunes going to be uh, happening around in the clubs. Uh, this bank holiday weekend. It is the last one, of course. Uh, if you are working this bank holiday weekend, I feel sorry for you. Uh, if you're not working, then make the most of it. It's the last one of the year. It will soon be that dreaded C word, which I'm not going to say. Now, in the old news today, a father has called at 999 to ask uh, police for a lift home in, uh, get this, rainy weather. Uh, the incident happened in Shoreham in West Sussex on Sunday. Uh, a local officer stated on Facebook that it's at 12.16pm, a male dialed 999 because it was raining and he wanted a lift home. Uh, threatened to complain to the PCC when he was told no. Now, according to uh, police sources, a police car eventually uh, gave him a lift, with the Sussex Police spokesperson explaining that the man had young children with him. Uh, he was then left as he was able to wait for a bus or phone for a taxi, the spokesman continued. Uh, clearly, 999 is for public use only in emergencies. While local street pastor Ian Chisnell praised the good deed, uh, claiming that the police deserves a gold star. An anonymous Sussex police officer said, This is not why people should call 999. He was lucky he was not dealt with for wasting police time.
nothing worse than waking up the next morning after you've been out for a night on the tiles, had one of those kebabs, and your breath, unbeknown to you, when you breathe on somebody, they go, oh my god, did you have a kebab last night? Oh, you stink, your breath smells. Well, three German students have created a drink which apparently cures the kebab breath. Uh, the mixture is called Papa Turk and includes uh, ginger, some cloves, some mint tea and some lemon. Uh, the two guys who created it uh, came up with the idea when drinking in a pub, but after their first batch, it tasted like soup, apparently, uh, with whole socks. Uh, so they carried on and perfected the uh, the drink, and uh, apparently they've come up now with the perfect recipe. Uh, it took a month to perfect the final recipe after some many frustrating attempts. Uh, following initial tests in a kebab shop in their hometown in Germany, uh, the product has now been deemed successful, and 10,000 bottles have been delivered to German takeaways who serve kebabs. Flashlights in the good life keep calling out my name and I pray somehow something's gonna change bright lights in the skyline let me lose my way cause I know somehow something's gonna change Kips of the high life, I wish I never saw this Now I want it all, want it all, I'm selfish Feel locked down like I brought a death sentence Like Alan Sugar fight me for the apprentice See my little way, I must have lost half Even then, those will send me a new black card And there's a weapon, there's an assumption Back of a bang and there's more where it comes from All of the life, come my life, flash cameras on Tell us where we are and I out there From now I've been obsessed with the fame you're a link, cause your dreams were the same Every day I prayed, really wishing for a change Dreams to reality, and now I'm in the game No pleasing everybody need to focus Then he lost track, I'm really sorry Let the black clouds, white lights Got me feeling jolly, never let you down Up a word, you ain't gonna worry work for this Don't know about you, but I work for this Couple labels said that wasn't worth the risk Just another hood rat hoodie with a black hat He's just one of them looking for a burst And Nick never really had a plan These they don't point, I'm shopping in a Stanley Big star, flash car, looking trendy But no, got my list, time to go back Obsessed with the flame No, you're in late Cause your dreams were the same Every day I pray Really wishing for a change Dreams to reality Now I'm in the game with all your music in one place. She can't sing, she can't dance, but who cares? She walks like Rihanna. She can't sing, she can't dance, but who cares? She walks like Rihanna.
your favorite station. Doncaster's number one music station, Sign FM 102.6. Yeah. 